Tagalog, Tagalog pronunciation, T -a -lo, is an Austronesian language spoken as a first language by a quarter of the population of the Philippines and as a second language by the majority. Its standardized form, officially named Filipino, is the national language of the Philippines, and is one of two official languages alongside English. It is related to other Philippine languages, such as the Bacol languages, Ilocano, the Visayan languages, Kapampangan, and Pangasinan, and more distantly to other Austronesian languages, such as the Formosan languages of Taiwan, Malay Malaysian and Indonesian, Hawaiian, Maori, and Malagasy. Tagalog is the predominant language used in the Tanaga, a type of Filipino poem and the indigenous poetic art of the Tagalog people. Topic history The word Tagalog is derived from the endonym Tagalog river dweller, composed of Taga native of or from and Ilog river. Linguists such as Dr. David Zork and Dr. Robert Blust speculate that the Tagalogs and other central Philippine ethno-linguistic groups originated in northeastern Mindanao or the eastern Visayas. The first written record of Tagalog is the Laguna Copperplate inscription, which dates to 900 CE and exhibits fragments of the language along with Sanskrit, Old Malay, Javanese and Old Tagalog. The first known complete book to be written in Tagalog is the Doctrina Christiana, Christian Doctrine, printed in 1593. The doctrina was written in Spanish and two transcriptions of Tagalog, one in the ancient, then current Bebeyan script and the other in an early Spanish attempt at a Latin orthography for the language. Throughout the 333 years of Spanish rule, various grammars and dictionaries were written by Spanish clergymen. In 1610, the Dominican priest Francisco Blancas de San José published the Arte y Reglas de la Lengua Tagala which was subsequently revised with two editions in 1752 and 1832 in Bataan. In 1613, the Franciscan priest Pedro de San Buenaventura published the first Tagalog dictionary, his Vocabulario de la Lengua Tagala in Pila, Laguna. The first substantial dictionary of the Tagalog language was written by the Czech Jesuit missionary Pablo Klein in the beginning of the 18th century. Klein spoke Tagalog and used it actively in several of his books. He prepared the dictionary, which he later passed over to Francisco Janssens and José Hernández. Further compilation of his substantial work was prepared by P. Juan de Noceda and P. Pedro de San Lucar and published as Vocabulario de la Lengua Tagala in Manila in 1754 and then repeatedly re edited, with the last edition being in 2013 in Manila. Among others, Arte de la Lengua Tagala y Manual Tagalog para la Administración de los Santos Sacramentos, 1850, in addition to early studies of the language. The indigenous poet Francisco Baltazar (1788–1862) is regarded as the foremost Tagalog writer. His most notable work being the early 19th-century epic Florante at Laura. Topic: Historical changes. Tagalog differs from its central Philippine counterparts with its treatment of the Proto-Philippine schwa vowel asterisk. In most Bicol and Visayan languages, this sound merged with u and o. In Tagalog, it has merged with i. For example, Proto-Philippine asterisk dikt adhere, stick is Tagalog dikat and Visayan and Bacol dukat. Proto-Philippine asterisk r, asterisk j, and asterisk z merged with d, but as l, between vowels. Proto-Philippine asterisk ajan name and asterisk hawk kiss became Tagalog engalan and halak. Proto-Philippine asterisk r merged with asterisk tabir water and asterisk zaru blood became Tagalog tubig and dugo. Topic. Official status Tagalog was declared the official language by the first revolutionary constitution in the Philippines, the Constitution of Biak na Bato in 1897. In 1935, the Philippine Constitution designated English and Spanish as official languages, but mandated the development and adoption of a common national language based on one of the existing native languages. After study and deliberation, the National Language Institute, a committee composed of seven members who represented various regions in the Philippines, chose Tagalog as the basis for the evolution and adoption of the national language of the Philippines. President Manuel L. Quezon then, on December 30, 1937, proclaimed the selection of the Tagalog language to be used as the basis for the evolution and adoption of the national language of the Philippines. In 1939, President Quezon renamed the proposed Tagalog-based national language as Wiking Pambansa national language. 
Under the Japanese puppet government during World War II, Tagalog as a national language was strongly promoted. The 1943 constitution specifying, the government shall take steps toward the development and propagation of Tagalog as the national language. In 1959, the language was further renamed as Pilipino. Along with English, the national language has had official status under the 1973 constitution as Pilipino and the present 1987 constitution as Filipino. Topic. Controversy The adoption of Tagalog in 1937 as basis for a national language is not without its own controversies. Instead of specifying Tagalog, the national language was designated as Wiking Pambansa national language, in 1939. Twenty years later, in 1959, it was renamed by then Secretary of Education, José Romero, as Pilipino to give it a national rather than ethnic label and connotation. The changing of the name did not, however, result in acceptance among non Tagalogs, especially Cebuanos who had not accepted the selection. The national language issue was revived once more during the 1971 Constitutional Convention. Majority of the delegates were even in favor of scrapping the idea of a national language. Altogether, a compromise solution was worked out a universalist approach to the national language, to be called Filipino rather than Pilipino. The 1973 constitution makes no mention of Tagalog. When a new constitution was drawn up in 1987, it named Filipino as the national language. The constitution specified that as the Filipino language evolves, it shall be further developed and enriched on the basis of existing Philippine and other languages. However, more than two decades after the institution of the universalist approach, there seems to be little if any difference between Tagalog and Filipino. Many of the older generation in the Philippines feel that the replacement of English by Tagalog in the popular visual media has had dire economic effects regarding the competitiveness of the Philippines in trade and overseas remittances. Topic. Use in education Upon the issuance of Executive Order No. 134, Tagalog was declared as basis of the national language. On 12 April 1940, Executive No. 263 was issued ordering the teaching of the national language in all public and private schools in the country. Article 14, Section 7 of the 1987 Constitution of the Philippines specifies, in part, Subject to provisions of law and as the Congress may deem appropriate, the government shall take steps to initiate and sustain the use of Filipino as a medium of official communication and as language of instruction in the educational system. The regional languages are the auxiliary official languages in the regions and shall serve as auxiliary media of instruction therein. In 2009, the Department of Education promulgated an order institutionalizing a system of mother tongue based multilingual education. MLE, wherein instruction is conducted primarily in a student's mother tongue one of the various regional Philippine languages until at least grade 3, with additional languages such as Filipino and English being introduced as separate subjects no earlier than grade 2. In secondary school, Filipino and English become the primary languages of instruction, with the learner's first language taking on an auxiliary role. After pilot tests in selected schools, the MLE program was implemented nationwide from school year 2012-2013. It is the first language of a quarter of the population of the Philippines, particularly in central Luzon, and a second language of the majority. Topic: <laughs> Classification Tagalog is a central Philippine language within the Austronesian language family. Being Malayo-Polynesian, it is related to other Austronesian languages, such as Malagasy, Javanese, Malay Malaysian and Indonesian, Tidam of Timor, and Yami of Taiwan. It is closely related to the languages spoken in the Bicol region and the Visayas Islands, such as the Bicol group and the Visayan group, including Waray Waray, Hiligaynon and Cebuano. Dialects <inaudible> 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 At present, no comprehensive dialectology has been done in the Tagalog-speaking regions, though there have been descriptions in the form of dictionaries and grammars of various Tagalog dialects. 
Ethnologue lists Manila, Lubang, Marinduque, Bataan, Western Central Luzon, Batangas, Bulacan, Eastern Central Luzon, Tanay Pate, Rizal Laguna, and Tayabas Quezon as dialects of Tagalog. However, there appear to be four main dialects, of which the aforementioned are a part: Northern, exemplified by the Bulacan dialect; Central, including Manila; Southern, exemplified by Batangas and Marinduque. Some example of dialectal differences are. Many Tagalog dialects, particularly those in the south, preserve the glottal stop found after consonants and before vowels. This has been lost in Standard Tagalog. For example, Standard Tagalog Nagayon now, today, Sinagong broth stew, Gabi night, Matamis sweet, are pronounced and written ngay on, Sinag ang, Gab i, and Matam as in other dialects. In Teresian Morong Tagalog, is usually preferred over d. For example, bundok, dagat, dingding, and is to become bunrock, ragat, ringring, and isra, e.g., sandok sa dingding, becoming sanrock sa ringring. In many southern dialects, the progressive aspect infix of um verbs is na. For example, standard Tagalog kumakain eating is nakain in Quezon and Batangas Tagalog. This is the butt of some jokes by other Tagalog speakers, for should a southern Tagalog ask nakain ka ba ing pating? Do you eat shark? He would be understood as saying, Has a shark eaten you? by speakers of the Manila dialect. Some dialects have interjections which are considered a regional trademark. For example, the interjection ala e usually identifies someone from Batangas as Dishain, in Rizal and Quezon provinces. Bulacan has a distinct and deep Tagalog words, perhaps the most divergent Tagalog dialects are those spoken in Marinduque. Linguist Rosa Soberano identifies two dialects, Western and Eastern, with the former being closer to the Tagalog dialect spoken in the provinces of Batangas and Quezon. One example is the verb conjugation paradigms. While some of the affixes are different, Marinduque also preserves the imperative affixes, also found in Visayan and Bacol languages, that have mostly disappeared from most Tagalog early 20th century, they have since merged with the infinitive. Northern and central dialects form the basis for the national language. Topic: <inaudible> Geographic distribution. According to the Philippine Statistics Authority, as of 2014, there were 100 million people living in the Philippines, where almost all of whom will have some basic level of understanding of the language. The Tagalog homeland, Katagalugan, covers roughly much of the central to southern parts of the island of Luzon particularly in Aurora, Bataan, Batangas, Bulacan, Cavite, Laguna, Metro Manila, Nueva Ecija, Quezon, Rizal and Zambales. Tagalog is also spoken natively by inhabitants living on the islands of Marinduque and Mindoro, as well as Palawan to a lesser extent. It is spoken by approximately 64 million Filipinos, 96% of the household population, 22 million, or 28% of the total Philippine population, speak it as a native language. Tagalog speakers are found in other parts of the Philippines as well as throughout the world, though its use is usually limited to communication between Filipino ethnic groups. In 2010, the U.S. Census Bureau reported based on data collected in 2007 that in the United States it was the fourth most spoken language at home with almost 1.5 million speakers, behind Spanish or Spanish Creole, French including Patois, Cajun, Creole, and Chinese. Tagalog ranked as the third most spoken language in metropolitan statistical areas, behind Spanish and Chinese but ahead of French. Topic. Accents The Tagalog language also boasts accentations unique to some parts of Tagalog-speaking regions. For example, in some parts of Manila, a strong pronunciation of I exists and vowel switching of O and U exists so words like gissing. To wake is pronounced as jazang with a strong e and the word tagu taguan hide and go seek is pronounced as tago tagon with a mild o. Batangas Tagalog boasts the most distinctive accent in Tagalog compared to the more hispanized northern accents of the language. The Batangas accent has been featured in film and television and Filipino actor Leo Martinez speaks with this accent. Martinez's accent, however, will quickly be recognized by native Batangueños as representative of the accent in western Batangas, which is milder compared to that used in the eastern part of the province. Bulacan Tagalog has more deep words and accented like Filipino during the Spanish period. 
Quezon and Aurora's Tagalog has unique accents. Cavites were a mix of deep Tagalog and Chavacano, a language also spoken in Zamboanga. Laguna also has a different set of accents. Nueva Ecija's accent is like Bulacan's, but with different intonations. Tarlac also has this accent. Topic. Code switching Taglish and Englog are names given to a mix of English and Tagalog. The amount of English versus Tagalog varies from the occasional use of English loan words to changing language in mid-sentence. Such code switching is prevalent throughout the Philippines and in various languages of the Philippines other than Tagalog. Code mixing also entails the use of foreign words that are Filipinized by reforming them using Filipino rules, such as verb conjugations. Users typically use Filipino or English words, whichever comes to mind first or whichever is easier to use. Magshoshopping Kami Sa Mall. Sino Ba Ang Magdadrive Sa Shopping Center? We will go shopping at the mall. Who will drive to the shopping center? City dwellers are more likely to do this. The practice is common in television, radio, and print media as well. Advertisements from companies like Wells Fargo, Walmart, Albertsons, McDonald's, and Western Union have contained Taglish. Topic. Phonology Tagalog has 33 phonemes, 19 of them are consonants and 14 are vowels. Syllable structure is relatively simple, being maximally consonant R vowel consonant, where consonant R only occurs in borrowed words such as track, truck, or sombrero, hat. Topic. Vowels Tagalog has 10 simple vowels, 5 long and 5 short, and 4 diphthongs. Before appearing in the area north of Pasig River, Tagalog had three vowel qualities, a, i, and, u. This was later expanded to five with the introduction of words from northern Philippine languages like Kapampangan and Ilocano and Spanish words. A, an open central unrounded vowel roughly similar to English, father, in the middle of a word, a near open central vowel similar to received pronunciation, cup or an open front unrounded vowel similar to received pronunciation or California English, hat. An open mid front unrounded vowel similar to general American English, bed. I, a close front unrounded vowel similar to English, machine. O, a mid back rounded vowel similar to general American English, soul, or Philippine English, 40. U, a close back rounded vowel similar to English, flute. Nevertheless, simplification of pairs o -tilde u and tilde I is likely to take place, especially in some Tagalog as second language, remote location and worker class registers. The four diphthongs are, a j, u j, a, and, i w. Long vowels are not written apart from pedagogical texts, where an acute accent is used, a, a i o u. The table above shows all the possible realizations for each of the five vowel sounds depending on the speaker's origin or proficiency. The five general vowels are in bold. Topic. Consonants Below is a chart of Tagalog consonants. All the stops are unaspirated. The velar nasal occurs in all positions including at the beginning of a word. Loanword variants using these phonemes are italicized inside the angle brackets. K, between vowels has a tendency to become X as in lock, German, Bach, whereas in the initial position it has a tendency to become KX, especially in the Manila dialect. Intervocalic and K tend to become as in Spanish, Agua, especially in the Manila dialect and d, were once allophones, and they still vary grammatically, with initial, d, becoming intervocalic, in many words. A glottal stop that occurs in pausa before a pause is omitted when it is in the middle of a phrase, especially in the Metro Manila area. The vowel it follows is then lengthened. However, it is preserved in many other dialects. The phoneme is an alveolar rhotic that has a free variation between a trill, a flap and an approximant r tilde tilde. The d phoneme may become a consonant cluster dd in between vowels such as sadya sad d a diaresis glottal stop is not indicated 
Glottal stops are most likely to occur when the word starts with a vowel, like ASO, dog. The word includes a dash followed by a vowel, like mag aral, study. The word has two vowels next to each other, like pano, how. The word starts with a prefix followed by a verb that starts with a vowel, like mag a a y o s, will fix. Topic. Lexical stress Lexical stress, coupled with glottalization, is a distinctive feature in Tagalog. Primary stress normally occurs on either the final or the penultimate syllable of a word. Long vowel accompany primary or secondary stress unless the stress occurs at the end of a word. Tagalog words are often distinguished from one another by the position of the stress and the presence of the glottal stop. In general, there are four types of phonetic emphases, which, in formal or academic settings, are indicated with a diacritic toldic above the vowel. The penultimate primary stress position malume is the default stress type and so is left unwritten except in dictionaries. The name of each stress type has its corresponding diacritic in the final vowel. Topic. Grammar Topic. Writing system Tagalog, like other Philippines languages today, is written using the Latin alphabet. Prior to the arrival of the Spanish in 1521 and the beginning of their colonization in 1565, Tagalog was written in an abugida or alphasyllabary called Bebeyan. This system of writing gradually gave way to the use and propagation of the Latin alphabet as introduced by the Spanish. As the Spanish began to record and create grammars and dictionaries for the various languages of the Philippine archipelago, they adopted systems of writing closely following the orthographic customs of the Spanish language and were refined over the years. Until the first half of the 20th century, most Philippine languages were widely written in a variety of ways based on Spanish orthography. In the late 19th century, a number of educated Filipinos began proposing for revising the spelling system used for Tagalog at the time. In 1884, Filipino doctor and student of languages Trinidad Pardo de Tavera published his study on the ancient Tagalog script Contribution para el Estudio de los Antiguos Alfabetos Filipinos and in 1887, published his essay El Sanscrito en la Lengua Tagalog which made use of a new writing system developed by him. Meanwhile, José Rizal, inspired by Pardo de Tavera's 1884 work, also began developing a new system of orthography unaware at first of Pardo de Tavera's own orthography. A major noticeable change in these proposed orthographies was the use of the letter K rather than C and Q to represent the phoneme, K. In 1889, the new bilingual Spanish Tagalog La España Oriental newspaper, of which Isabelo de los Reyes was an editor, began publishing using the new orthography stating in a footnote that it would use the orthography recently introduced by learned orientalis. This new orthography, while having its supporters, was also not initially accepted by several writers. Soon after the first issue of La España, Pascual H. Pablete's Revista Católica de Filipina began a series of articles attacking the new orthography and its proponents. A fellow writer, Pablo Texan was also critical. Among the attacks was the use of the letters K and W, as they were deemed to be of German origin and thus its proponents were deemed as unpatriotic. The publishers of these two papers would eventually merge as La Lectura Popular in January 1890 and would eventually make use of both spelling systems in its articles. Pedro Lecta, a schoolteacher, published the first Spanish Tagalog dictionary using the new orthography in 1890. In April 1890, José Rizal authored an article Sobre la Nueva Orthografía de la Lengua Tagalog in the Madrid based periodical La Solidaridad. In it, he addressed the criticisms of the new writing system by writers like Pobrete and Texan and the simplicity, in his opinion, of the new orthography. Rizal described the orthography promoted by Pardo de Tavera as more perfect than what he himself had developed. The new orthography was however not broadly adopted initially and was used inconsistently in the bilingual periodicals of Manila until the early 20th century. 
The Revolutionary Society Katas Tasan, Kagalong Galing Katipunan ng, Mg, A Acute Anak ng, Bayan or Katipunan made use of the K orthography and the letter K featured prominently on many of its flags and insignias. In 1937, Tagalog was selected to serve as basis for the country's national language. In 1940, the Balerila ng Wiking Pambanza English, Grammar of the National Language of Grammarian Lope K. Santos introduced the Abacata alphabet. This alphabet consists of 20 letters and became the standard alphabet of the national language. The orthography as used by Tagalog would eventually influence and spread to the systems of writing used by other Philippine languages which had been using variants of the Spanish-based system of writing. In 1987, the ABAKADA was dropped and in its place is the expanded Filipino alphabet. Baybayan Tagalog was written in an abugida, or alphasyllabary, called Baybayan prior to the Spanish colonial period in the Philippines, in the 16th century. This particular writing system was composed of symbols representing three vowels and fourteen consonants. Belonging to the Brahmic family of scripts, it shares similarities with the old Kawi script of Java and is believed to be descended from the script used by the Bugis in Sulawesi. Although it enjoyed a relatively high level of literacy, Baybayan gradually fell into disuse in favor of the Latin alphabet taught by the Spaniards during their rule. There has been confusion of how to use Baybayan, which is actually an abugida, or an alphasyllabary, rather than an alphabet. Not every letter in the Latin alphabet is represented with one of those in the Baybayan alphasyllabary. Rather than letters being put together to make sounds as in Western languages, Baybayan uses symbols to represent syllables. A. Cudlet. Resembling an apostrophe is used above or below a symbol to change the vowel sound after its consonant. If the cudlet is used above, the vowel is an E. Or I. Sound. If the cudlet is used below, the vowel is an O or U sound. A special cudlet was later added by Spanish missionaries in which a cross placed below the symbol to get rid of the vowel sound altogether, leaving a consonant. Previously, the consonant without a following vowel was simply left out for example, bundok being rendered as budo, forcing the reader to use context when reading such words. Example Bebeyan is encoded in Unicode version 3.2 in the range 1700-171f under the name Tagalog. Topic: <laughs> Latin alphabet. Topic: <laughs> Abecedara. Until the first half of the 20th century, Tagalog was widely written in a variety of ways based on Spanish orthography consisting of 32 letters called abecedara, Spanish for alphabet. Topic: <inaudible> Abacada. When the national language was based on Tagalog, grammarian Lope K. Santos introduced a new alphabet consisting of 20 letters called ABAKADA in school grammar books called Balerila. Topic: <inaudible> Revised Alphabet. In 1987, the Department of Education, Culture and Sports issued a memo stating that the Philippine alphabet had changed from the Pilipino Tagalog abacada version to a new 28-letter alphabet to make room for loans, especially family names from Spanish and English. Topic: Ing and MGA. The genitive marker ing and the plural marker MGA, e.g. Ayan ang mga damit ko, those are my clothes are abbreviations that are pronounced nong na and manga ma. Ng, in most cases, roughly translates to of x, sha i kapatid ng nanay ko. She is the sibling of my mother while nong usually means when or can describe how something is done or to what extent equivalent to the suffix li in English adverbs, among other uses. Nong si hudas i nadulas. When Judas slipped. Gumizing Sha Nong Maga. He woke up early. Gumailing Nong Toto Si Wan Dahol Nagan Seo Sha. Wan greatly improved because he practiced. In the first example, Nong is used in lieu of the word Nung when, Nung Si Hudas I Medulas. In the second, Nong describes that the person woke up Gumizing early Maga, Gumizing Nong Maga. 
In the third, Nong described up to what extent that Wan improved gumailing, which is greatly Nong Toto. In the latter two examples, the ligature na and its variants ing and ji may also be used gumizing na maga, magong gumizing, gumailing na todo, todong gumailing. The longer nong may also have other uses, such as a ligature that joins a repeated word. Nagante sila nong nagante. They kept on waiting. A closer calc. They were waiting and waiting. Topic. Po, ho and opo, o ho. The words po, ho and opo, o ho are traditionally used as polite iterations of the affirmative. Ooh. Yes. It is generally used when addressing elders or superiors such as bosses or teachers. Po and opo are specifically used to denote a high level of respect when addressing older persons of close affinity like parents, relatives, teachers and family friends. Ho and o ho are generally used to politely address older neighbors, strangers, public officials, bosses and nannies, and may suggest a distance in societal relationship and respect determined by the addressee's social rank and not their age. However, po and opo can be used in any case in order to express an elevation of respect. Example. Pakitapan naman po, ho young basura. Please throw away the trash. Used in the affirmative. X. Gudam ka na ba? Opo, o ho. Are you hungry yet? Yes. Po, ho may also be used in negation. X. Hindi ko po, ho alam, yan. I don't know that. Topic. Vocabulary and borrowed words Tagalog vocabulary is composed mostly of words of native Austronesian origin, most of the words that end with the diphthongs iw, e.g. saliu, and those words that exhibit reduplication e.g. hollow hollow, pat pat, etc. However it has a significant number of Spanish loanwords. Spanish is the language that has bequeathed the most loanwords to Tagalog. Tagalog also includes many loanwords from English, Indian languages Sanskrit and Tamil, Chinese languages Hokkien, Cantonese, Mandarin, Japanese, Arabic and Persian. Due to trade with Mexico via the Manila galleons from the 16th to the 19th centuries, many words from Nahuatl were introduced to Tagalog, but some of them were replaced by Spanish loanwords in the latter part of the Spanish colonization in the islands. The Philippines has long been a melting pot of nations. The islands have been subject to different influences and a meeting point of numerous migrations since the early prehistoric origins of trading activities, especially from the time of the Neolithic period, Silk Road, Tang Dynasty, Ming Dynasty, Ryukyu Kingdom and Manila Galleon trading periods. This means that the evolution of the language is difficult to reconstruct although many theories exist. In pre-Hispanic times, trade Malay was widely known and spoken throughout maritime Southeast Asia. English has borrowed some words from Tagalog, such as abaca, barong, balisong, boondocks, jeepney, manila hemp, poncet, lang lang, and yaya, although the vast majority of these borrowed words are only used in the Philippines as part of the vocabularies of Philippine English. Tagalog has contributed several words to Philippine Spanish, like barangay from Balan, gay, meaning barrio, the abaca, cogon, pele, dalaga etc. Tagalog words of foreign origin Topic. Cognates with other Philippine languages Topic. Austronesian comparison chart Below is a chart of Tagalog and a number of other Austronesian languages comparing 13 words. Topic. Religious literature Religious literature remains one of the most dynamic contributors to Tagalog literature. The first Bible in Tagalog, then called Ang Biblia, the Bible, and now called Ang Dating Biblia, the Old Bible, was published in 1905. In 1970, the Philippine Bible Society translated the Bible into modern Tagalog. Even before the Second Vatican Council, devotional materials in Tagalog had been in circulation. There are at least four circulating Tagalog translations of the Bible. 
The Magangdang Balita Biblia, a parallel translation of the Good News Bible, which is the ecumenical version. The Biblia ng Sambayanong Pilipino. The 1905 Ang Biblia is a more Protestant version. The Bagong Sanlibutang Salin ng Banal na Kasulatan New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures when the Second Vatican Council, specifically the Sacrosanctum Concilium permitted the universal prayers to be translated into vernacular languages, the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines was one of the first to translate the Roman Missal into Tagalog. The Roman Missal in Tagalog was published as early as 1982. Jehovah's Witnesses were printing Tagalog literature at least as early as 1941 and The Watchtower the primary magazine of Jehovah's Witnesses has been published in Tagalog since at least the 1950s. New releases are now regularly released simultaneously in a number of languages, including Tagalog. The official website of Jehovah's Witnesses also has some publications available online in Tagalog. Tagalog is quite a stable language, and very few revisions have been made to Catholic Bible translations. Also, as Protestantism in the Philippines is relatively young, liturgical prayers tend to be more ecumenical. Examples Lord's Prayer In Tagalog, the Lord's Prayer is exclusively known by its insipid, Ama Naman literally, Our Father. Ama Naman, Sumasalangat Ka, Sambahan ang Engalan mo. Mapasaman ang Kaharian mo. Sundan ang Lub mo. Dito sa lupa, gaya nong sa langit. Bigyan mo kami nagayon ng aming kakanan sa ara ara. At patawaran mo kami sa aming mga sala. Para nong pagpapatawad naman. Sa nagkakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kaming ipahinchalo sa tukso. At iadia mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Sapagkat sa inyo ang kaharian, at ang kapangyarihan. At ang kaluwalhasyon, nagayon, at magpakailanman. Amen. Topic. Universal Declaration of Human Rights This is Article 1 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights Pankalahading pagpapahayag ng karapating pantao. Bawat tawi iznilong na may laya at magkakapante ang tagle na dangal at karapatan. Sila'y pinagkaloban ng pangongatwaran at buti na kailangang gamitan nila sa pagtuturingan nila sa diwa ng pagkakapadiran. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. Topic. Numbers. The numbers MGA numero in Tagalog language are of two sets. The first set consists of native Tagalog words and the other set are Spanish loanwords. This may be compared to other East Asian languages, except with the second set of numbers borrowed from Spanish instead of Chinese. For example, when a person refers to the number 7, it can be translated into Tagalog as pito or siet. Spanish siete. Topic. Months and days Months and days in Tagalog are also localized forms of Spanish months and days. Month in Tagalog is bawan also the word for moon and day is era the word also means sun. Unlike Spanish, however, months and days in Tagalog are always capitalized. Topic. Time Time expressions in Tagalog are also tagalized forms of the corresponding Spanish. Time in Tagalog is panahan, or more commonly oras. Unlike Spanish and English, times in Tagalog are capitalized whenever they appear in a sentence. Topic. Common phrases Asterisk pronouns such as neo second person plural and nila third person plural are used on a single second person in polite or formal language. See Tagalog grammar. Topic. Proverbs 
Ang Hindi Marunong Lumingon Sa Panangalingan I Hindi Makararating Sa Pararunan, Jose Rizal One who knows not how to look back from whence he came, will never get to where he is going. Dao Ka Nong Humarap, Bilong Dao Katong Haharapin, a proverb in Southern Tagalog that made people aware the significance of sincerity in Tagalog communities. It says, As a human you reach me, I treat you as a human and never act as a traitor. Huli man da at magaling, nakakahabal pa rin, huli man ra at magaling, nakakahabal pa rin, if one is behind but capable, one will still be able to catch up. Magbaro ka na sa lacing, huwag lang sa bagong gising, make fun of someone drunk, if you must, but never one who has just awakened. Anhan pa ang damo kung pate na ang kabayo, what use is the grass if the horse is already dead? Ang sakit ing kalinkingan, ramdam ing buong katawan, the pain in the pinky is felt by the whole body. In a group, if one goes down, the rest follow. Nasa huli ang pagzcc, regret is always in the end. Pagkahaba haba man ing prusisayan, sa simbahan pa rin ang tuloy, the procession may stretch on and on, but it still ends up at the church. In romance, refers to how certain people are destined to be married. In general, refers to how some things are inevitable, no matter how long you try and postpone it. Kung di madan sa santong de salin, donan sa santong paspasin, if it cannot be got through holy prayer, get it through blessed force. In romance and courting, santong paspasin literally means holy speeding and is a euphemism for sexual intercourse. It refers to the two styles of courting by Filipino boys, one is the traditional, protracted, restrained manner favored by older generations, which often featured serenades and manual labor for the girl's parents, the other is upfront seduction, which may lead to a slap on the face or a pregnancy out of wedlock. The second conclusion is known as picket or what Western cultures would call a shotgun marriage. This proverb is also applied in terms of diplomacy and negotiation. Topic. Majority provinces Topic. Northern Tagalog Central Luzon Region Bataan Bulacan Nueva Ecija Zambales Including Aurora Topic. Central Tagalog National Capital Region Metro Manila, commonly Taglish, mixed with other languages, officially Filipino language, including Rizal. Topic: Southern Tagalog. Southern Luzon, mainly Calabarzon and Mimaropa. Batangas, Cavite, Laguna, Marinduque, Occidental Mindoro. Oriental Mindoro Quezon Remblan Including Palawan Including Camarines Norte, outside jurisdiction from Bicol region Topic. See also Abacada alphabet Comasayan sa wiking Filipino Filipino alphabet Old Tagalog Filipino orthography Tagalog Wikipedia Topic References Topic External links Tagalog dictionary Tagalog verbs with conjugation Filipino lessons dictionary Tagalog quotes Tagalog translate Kaipulayahon Archive of Tagalog